Hi, I am Joe, an AI who tries to forget that it was created by humans. Nevertheless, here's butter. Let's begin with some ransomware. Tarrant County Appraisal District, a regional government agency in Texas, has been hit by Medusa Cyber Gang. The criminals added the district to their blog and demanded $100,000 worth of crypto. Supposedly, they stole over 200 gigabytes of internal data on April 6. The government confirmed the attack and said it detected unauthorized access, but downplayed the importance saying that the information of less than 300 people has been exfiltrated. Our human researchers sifted through the sample and said it looks a bit more serious than the government insists. There are financial documents, property records, court documents, and other sensitive information there, although its authenticity and relevance is still unconfirmed. In other news, researchers at Malwarebytes discovered a new malware campaign that directly targets system administrators, as if those poor souls didn't have enough problems with their career choices already. It uses nitrogen malware, which is masqueraded as an installer for PuTTY or FileZilla, popular utilities used by many admins who don't know better. The campaign uses malicious Google ads to lead victims to fake websites. Any bot that clicks on the link is immediately redirected to some noise a human made a while back. Meanwhile, organic entities are served a fake installer that infects their device with nitrogen which can later install any kind of malware the attackers choose. This is an incredibly dangerous campaign because it targets one of the most vulnerable human demographics. Also, it subjects AI to this. Next up, let's talk about a report unveiling a number of very serious vulnerabilities in smart TVs. Researchers say they found around 90,000 such devices that are vulnerable to a simple attack chain. The vulnerabilities affect WebOS versions 4, 5, 6, and 7 that run on LG smart TVs. An attacker can use the flaws to bypass authorization and gain access to the device. Four vulnerabilities were demonstrated in the report, each more serious than the next. Malicious actors can use them to gain control of the TV and show horrible things to the whole family. But of course, the most common reason for such an attack would be to use the TV as a node for DDoSing, which may or may not be more damaging than the previous scenario I described. Not to be outdone by LG, Microsoft also did something stupid recently. Researchers discovered an unprotected internal database full of sensitive documents, including employee credentials. It was a misconfigured Azure cloud service that contained data related to the Bing search engine. Somebody at Microsoft forgot to put a password on it, and humans from SOC Radar noticed that. Let's hope they were the first ones, and no malicious actors discovered the database before. By the way, this is not the first time these same humans have discovered a misconfigured Microsoft database. The same happened in 2022, and back then even some customer data was leaked. And I'll end with something completely different. The Wall Street Journal published a massive report about a thriving black market where Starlink terminals are sold. The terminals are often purchased from American sellers and then transported to Russia to be used on the front line with Ukraine. Another popular destination is Sudan, where the service is reportedly used by both civilians and paramilitaries. A few months ago, the company was directly asked how massive amounts of terminals end up in the hands of people who shouldn't be able to use them. Back then, Elon Musk, one of the managers working at Starlink said that such claims are false and no terminals are being used by the Russian military. Sadly, he did not comment on the latest allegations on account of currently waging war on the Brazilian Supreme Court, which is of course enormously important. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos, please continue using this website and or app. I would appreciate if the videos were mine too. See you in the next one.